I'm trying to get ready to do a video on how I am exfoliating my mature skin using Retin-A and then it dawned on me I never really completed the vlog for last week so anyways one thing I want to tell you because if you're interested in watching the vlog I had a really fun night I had a date night my parents celebrated their anniversary and I just had a wacky week but one of the weirdest things that happened to me was wearing my sunglasses and nobody I didn't notice it for like two days <laughs> truthfully so I have these prescription sunglasses that I really love so they're bifocals they're prescriptions and I always, I always get questions on it because they're really pretty they're a little bit dirty right now I gotta clean the lens but they're really, they're kind of blingy and they're just really, in my opinion, pretty. So because they're prescription, I, you know, obviously you have to spend a little bit more money because they're bifocals and they're progressive and all that. And they came, when I got them, they came with this like soft, they're guests, so they came with this like soft leather end type of a pouch. And I just kind of felt like, you know, that wasn't, probably the best bet for me for my sunglasses to keep them safe so I went into Walmart and I bought this little hard case it's actually hard candy <laughs> but I bought this hard case and I have been putting my storing my sunglasses in that well you'll notice in the clips if you watch I just cannot believe it somehow the maid the, the little they had a little gold tag in here I think it said made in China or whatever Somehow that little gold tag fell off, landed on my sunglasses, and I walked around and filmed for two days with that tag in the middle of my sunglasses and never, never realized it. Oh my God, what a nut I am. So if you want to see my week-long adventure, actually it's been longer than that because I'm not too sure when this is going to go public. Stay tuned, but please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and like and leave a comment on my video. I appreciate all your comments, I appreciate all your support, and I try my best to get back to all of you. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I eventually do answer all of you. So I appreciate every comment you leave me. So now, stay tuned for my vlog. Getting ready to go out for date night. <laughs> this is sort of a McGillicuddy date night. Aww. Well, not really, because we're going out with friends. Aww. Aww. So it is kind of, and you know what Jay told me? Even though I'm wearing my striped top, he told me I looked, what did you say before we left the house? Sexy. He said I looked sexy. 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 Ooh, I'll probably get demonetized. Sexy, he thought. Yeah. So not bad for a 64-year-old broad. Am I 64? Yeah, sorry. Crap. There's got to be a benefit. When do you when do you get to go on Medicare or Medicaid or whatever that insurance is? Next year. Next year. Oh, imagine all the money I could save then. Yeah. Oh, there is a benefit, right? I uh, guess. So we're heading out to the beach, but we're not going to go on the beach because Jay said it was too cold and too windy, and he didn't want to freeze his tootsies off. That's right. So we're not going to go on the beach, but we're going to meet our friends at a very popular restaurant. So we're going early so we can get a seat and sort of linger and chitty chat and chitty, all that stuff. Chitty, 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 bang, bang. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so anyways, later guys. Past it. We're, uh, beach erosion. this is, oh, wow, beach erosion, erosion. So we're at, uh, whoops. This is when I wish I had a nice mic on this camera, but, wow, a little bit of beach erosion, we're at Salisbury. It's amazing, huh? Look at that rusty thing. That was never there before. No, none of this was like this before. I'm going to switch the camera around. This is something that must have gotten washed up. No, I think. Wow, the whole wall has moved. Wow, the wall hasn't moved. 
the sand is gone. Yeah, but look at, look at, we never had rocks here, and look at the gap over here. Ooh, it was all covered with sand. See how, look how, look at the height difference. You used to be able to walk out here straight. Look how much you have to go up and down. So all this, this has been washed Jay's away. Jay's going to go check the uh, parking situation and put a buck in the meter or something so we can walk around the beach because... It used to be Memorial Day weekend, you had to pay for parking, and now it says in April. So it's a real bummer. Major bummer. You put, so how much time do we have? An hour. An hour? We do a lot in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> April for parking? Probably April 1st in November. Yeah. That kind of really stinks, especially now in season after Memorial Day. What did you say? It was two bucks an hour? Oh, after May 1st. After May 1st. Two dollars an hour. I believe how flat it is. I know, huh? Well, it's high tide, right? Is it high tide? Probably going out now. Shivering. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> poor Jade got us a parking ticket. We walked all the way down to the water, which is not all that far. <laughs> but I just had this shawl on, and it's a freezing down there. So, I did not last long at all. But thank you for the thought. Okay, so you owe me a buck. I do? <laughs> I'll take it out and trade. I asked you that. I know, I've I, I asked Jay when he got in the car twice, I said, did you bring everything? He said, yes, and I said, okay, I'm just double checking because you didn't take any of my stuff. And, yeah, like you know, I've got to take her stuff all the time. I got to take her, I always bring her stuff out to the car. He didn't today, so I assumed you had your camera. That's why I asked you twice. I just assumed that you have all your stuff like your camera and you just, mm -hmm. now, he says, oh, I forgot my camera. You can use my camera if you want. <laughs> the big one. I yeah. get both. That's fine. So we're heading down to Mom and Dad's to pick them up. And tomorrow, April 9th, is their 68th wedding anniversary. 68. So it's a Monday, and Jay's working tomorrow night, and I'm working tomorrow, so we decided we were going to celebrate it today. We're going to take them up the coast along the coast into Maine, and then hopefully we're going to go to the York Harbor Inn, the restaurant, the ship, um, ship galley, ships, whatever. It's a really um, cool part of that restaurant, so ship's captain. Anyways, that's what we're going to do. So what advice do you give for a happy marriage 68 years tomorrow? What do you say, Mom and Dad? Be always nice and be always, always compromising. No matter what, never go mad to bed. Always kiss and make up when you go to bed. Ooh. And uh, yeah, just uh, do I the love right that. Thing. I love that advice. Yeah, you love that advice. I do. Okay, keep it in mind. So when you when you marry that long, then I will ask you what your advice. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-eight years. Do you remember your wedding day? Yeah, I do. What was it like, your wedding day? That's nice. Did you have? Did you like get married and have a lot of people? Like yeah. like here where you have a reception. What was your wedding like? Well, there was nothing like reception over there. Uh, it was completely different. So tell me about it. <laughs> Want me to tell her? Yeah, tell me about your wedding. Yeah, it was in Mundelheim at my mother's place. And they, they cleaned out the living room and they put a long table in, they did a lot of cooking. They even killed a, what's what, is a shark, a sheep? A sheep? Yeah, they killed, they killed something, what's what is. Oh, so you had, you butchered a sheep and you had sheep for dinner? Yeah, a sheep, a shark. Yeah, they, yeah they, that was a big thing, they always did something. See, see, mom, you did something wrong. <laughs> Wilton Deerbach. Wilton Deerbach. <laughs> no wonder I can't even remember yeah. our wedding day. She can't remember yeah. where she got married. Wilton Deerbach, Bad Merkenkeim. 
Oh, that's yeah. funny. Then we went to church. We walked because it wasn't very far. And we were about how many people? About 30 people or 40, even more, something like that. So we went to church and of course we said our yes and do and whatever, blah, 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 all that rigmarole. <laughs> I'm just being funny now. <gasps> And then we went back to my mom's place, and in the meantime they cooked, and we ate there, and spent some time there, and then we went to a restaurant. Wow, you mean you had a reception at your yeah. mom's house, and then a restaurant and too? And then we went to, uh, yeah, that uh, wow. restaurant there. You wow. remember the name, Hans? Uh. You know, so and we spent the, the rest of the late afternoon into the evening, late evening we spent there. Wow. Dancing and talking and whatever, having fun. <laughs> that sounds special. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's very plain, not like her, these days now. Her father enjoyed himself dancing with his daughters. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> he, nice. He, uh, he loved to dance. Opa, Opa okay. Khaldun yeah, loved to yeah. dance and he yeah, danced yeah. with his daughters. That's oh, nice. Yeah. He always, he teached us how to do the polka, how to do the tango and the waltz. Oh wow. Yeah, he was a dancer. I was very young when he did that. He, al he always was like that, right? Um, so yeah. He was a happy go lucky person. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's probably dance. why you love to dance so much. Yeah. Because <laughs> you learned it young, and Dad's a good dancer. I have a lot of clips of you guys dancing. Oh, yeah. you wow. Seen, Monica, you see none of the real dancing, but we did at the club. I know. I know. One time Annie came and said, Hans, I never knew you can dance like that. Dad had the moves. Wow, we, we, we did that polka Hans. I, I still remember how we did that. And that was really something, though. <laughs> so, did you go on a honeymoon? Yeah, the honeymoon was at home. Oh, no, you, so you no. didn't have like a formal no. honeymoon like we have here? No, not like these days. You don't need that. You can be happy without a honeymoon, too. <laughs> You spent your honeymoon with your honey at home. Yeah. Well, we took a little vacation and we just went around the American time. Did you, did, did, was dad driving a motorcycle at that time? Uh, yeah. yeah, he did. I remember dad, you had that motorcycle for a long time and then you got into a bad accident, right? Well, it was not really was a, a bad I'm accident. I'm trying to think, I don't remember. I, I hit the car. He the hit car something. Went through a stop sign, you know. Mm -hmm. They didn't uh, obey by the okay. stop sign, and uh, really it was a brand new car. And I went with my motorcycle naturally. I had the right to go, and so I hit him. Wow! Didn't you also get into an accident on a bicycle once, or with an apple? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I remember hearing that story. He, he drove over an apple and got yeah. fell off his bike. <laughs> yeah, that was in uh, neither step. <laughs> Oh, he just did. Oh. When he was on a Fahrrad, right? Is yeah. that how you say bicycle in German? Fahrrad? Fahrrad. 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 Yeah. Mm. Those were the days. Those were the days. So tomorrow is their anniversary, April 9th. We're celebrating it today, though. And we're taking a ride up the coast. Mm -hmm. and, and thank you for humoring me and letting me record you. Oh, so this is a car vlog with my mom and dad know, in it. You, you always do that. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll record more later. Oh yeah. Bye bye for now, guys. Bye. This is cool here. So we are in the York Harbor Inn. And we are going to actually celebrate a little fireplace over there. And we're like inside a ship here, celebrating how many years? 68. Oh, yeah, Papa knew. <laughs> <laughs> 68 years. 68. 68, yeah. Oh, yeah. This place we stayed at one time, do you remember, Jay? Yeah. At that hotel in the Anchorage? Yeah. And we walk. You mean you want to go all the way over there where the lighthouse is? Yeah, it's going to take at least an hour. Are you sure? Sure. It won't take longer than that. A quick lunchtime stop at Sally's. I was really, really hoping that I would get my Nutriox serum. 
at full price and then a half price off the second. I love that stuff. I was kind of bummed I didn't get the um, buy one, get the other at 50% off, but it was really running low. So I wasn't going to chance it. I picked it up. I used my hairdresser's discount, which cost me or saved me a few pennies. Hey guys, I was going to go shopping after work. I was going to actually try to go to the Merrimack outlets and I was so tempted for those earrings that I talked about, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago before we went to Texas and I didn't buy them. So I was going to go see if they were still there. But then Jay said that he got an appointment to bring the motorhome in for the generator repair and I got like all excited. So I know that I have to actually put all the stuff away inside because we've just been piling stuff out there. Uh, not in preparing for camping, but sort of like all the stuff that normally goes out there when it freezes, when it stops freezing, we kind of carry it back out, but I never put any of it away. So I have to go tackle that. So I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, can you feel the wind? I can. Oh, in here. Snow. You see that? That's snow. So it's not all melted. We still have some big piles in the yard, which is... Oh, we have another pile over there. You see that? That one and that one. And now I'm going in here. Whoops. Oh, so Jay said it wasn't that bad. Maybe he's right. Maybe it isn't that bad. Oh, the bedroom is really bad. It's like totally trash back here. Oh my gosh. I must have left cream out here last year. <laughs> oh, look at the mess. Ouch. Uh, so it's like you always have to make sure that everything is shut for transport and stored. Oh, that ugly snow out there. Pretty good, I think. So that was, um, I got away with that easy because there wasn't that much to do out there. Now, tomorrow morning, early, we have to bring it in. Happy Tuesday! So, Jay is going to bring the motorhome in this morning. I'm all ready because I'm going to have to go down there and pick him up and uh, bring him home because the motorhome will probably be there for a while. So, and then I'm going to head into Londonderry into work and hopefully I'll be able to go shopping after work tonight. I don't know. But anyways, on my face, I thought I would try... I've had this for a long, long time. This is the IT Anti-Aging Armor 50 SPF. I think I got this, I want to say it could even be a year ago. It's been quite a while. I don't go to it often because my go-to sunscreen is my Australian Gold Mineral, and I'm going to link it. That's a 50 SPF. I really, really like that a lot. And I just thought, you know what, this is super, super expensive where the Australian gold is very, very reasonable. So I just thought I would give this a whirl. Hi, honey. Hey. Are you going out? Uh, a few minutes. A few minutes. He's warming the rig up. So um, so I thought I would I would try this today and I or because I I don't want it to go go to waste. I have it, I want to use it. It has a little bit more of a foundation-y coverage than my Australian Gold, which I would never go out, you know, outside without some sort of contour blush or something over the Australian Gold because it is not like a foundation where this, you know, does have a little bit of coverage, but very, very light, which I tend to like. But I want to see how it compares all day to my Australian Gold foundation. Now, sunblock and my boots number seven foundation that we have most of the time and the other thing I want to share with you is see this big thing you know I've mentioned that Jay and I take this collagen from Great Lakes we buy it 
Um, and we take this collagen twice a day and really swear by it to the point where we do buy it over and over and over again. We started using it like in January 2016. And just to go to show you, we do buy this big, big bag. This is empty. I think Jay has coffee grinds in it right now, but it's empty and we started to run out because we put it in a smaller can. We started to run out. You want to talk about a little bit of a panic because Jay tried to order it and the website was down. And then the website was down and I guess it's down for maintenance. So I think he successfully ordered it just a little while ago. But we are like, whew, way, way low on this stuff. And I swear that the collagen not only helps with your joints and all of that, which is what Jay takes it for, but I believe it helps with my skin, starting from the inside out, my hair, even my nails. I think it's made a huge, huge difference in how all my products are working on my face. So that's a scoop. I'm gonna follow him down there and then uh, head off for my day. Bye, guys. You can see those ugly snow piles. And I'm shooting this, whoops, he better be careful that he's got a snow plow back there. It's a big boy. I'm sorry for the obstructed view through my screen. He's over a lot here on this side. I always get nervous when he heads out for the first time. It's 40 feet. Yesterday I actually worked on my abs and the day before. So with that with that ball and my abs killing me. Killing me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm wondering if I should just get it cut. It's such a mess. Happy Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. I'm heading up to um, the Lakes region, guys. I've done, my vlogging has been kind of like really sporadic this week. I think I did more of the weekend because we'd gone out with my mom and dad and celebrated their special day. And then Jay and I went out on a sort of a date light in the night in the freezing rain, freezing cold, not rain. And uh, today, I'm, today I'm just uh, heading up to our lakes region. If I can get any clips on the way up there, I, I will. It's a really pretty area, but I have a packed agenda. So I don't think I'm going to be able to make any stops. And when I come back, Jay and I are either going to have dinner at home. I don't know what he's going to make and surprise me with. Or maybe we'll just go out. It's just been a long week for the two of us. He's worked every single night with his pre-licensing class. And he actually has to work tomorrow, Saturday as well. So today he's working, tonight he's off, and tomorrow he's working. And also in between that, he does real estate. So I've been doing, you know, real estate as well, but my job is more full-time training and, you know, help assistant managing when one of the managers are out, etc. So I do, I do all the, the training and I also run the the pre-licensing school. So my agenda, my work week is pretty well packed. So that's the scoop. I feel very spring. I'm wearing a spring top. I'm wearing my square hairband. I love it. And um, yeah, I, I showed you a clip with my hair. I'm just debating. I don't know whether to keep it long or not. So, but that's, that's my scoop. That's my Friday. I may end the vlog here. I'm not sure. But if I do, I'm going to say thank you all so much for watching. I know that already with the clips I have, it's over 20 minutes. And I don't want to do a 30-minute vlog. No one is going to watch a long, long vlog. I don't think. Bye, guys.